G'day guys, welcome back. Well, it's actually been a couple of weeks since I've last been out, but uh, yes, today we are back out bush. Back to the diggings that I was at quite a few weeks ago now, I suppose. Um, I've got a few, it was an evening session. Well, this is gonna be something not too different to that. It's actually well into the afternoon, so this is gonna be a late afternoon and into the evening session as well. And look, just like last time, if I can get one, I'll be happy. If I get two, I'll be really happy. And if we get three, well, that'll top the day off really well. So anyway, guys, I've got something to show you. Now I can't take complete credit for this. I've done this through necessity because I left my headphones at home, but I have actually made up a external speaker using a JBL Bluetooth speaker. Um, good friend I've met through the channel, basically. Um, Justin put me onto this and uh, yeah, look, Seems to work quite well. I actually haven't used it, but I've got it all set up and it's running right now. Little JBL speak, I've got it just clipped onto there for now. Look, you could actually use it there because as everyone knows with the 6000, the speakers on these are 7 tenths useless. They're on the back, they project all this sound backwards and you really can't hear a thing. But you could actually clip it to the uh, arm piece there and project the sound like back up at you. But yeah, look, I'm going to put it on my shoulder and see how it goes up there. With the 6000 you don't have to wear a harness, I'm pretty happy about it. I wear my pick on just the belt, which is very nice, I don't have to wear a harness. So I don't really want to have to wear a harness to clip that speaker on, but I'll see how it goes. I'm just going to clip it up on the shirt. Look, it weighs a little bit, uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. But hopefully it'll project the sound straight in the ear, not away from me where that other speaker would. Anyway guys, let's get stuck into it. Alrighty guys, well I've got through a boot scrape and a little dig and the target is still there. But as you can hear, the old JBL is working pretty well. It's pretty loud in that ear too, so hopefully what we've got down here might be a bit of gold. But anyway, let's see if we can uh, yeah, get a piece on the first dig. That sounded pretty good. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear along with it now. You should actually be able to hear that the signal is actually a lot more stable uh, through headphones or an external speaker than it, what it is through this, this uh, the speaker on the machine. Hey, you what? Still in there? Good sign. <laughs> oh, it's stuffed. That's it. Right there. there it is. There, it's a bit of gold. It was sitting right on the hard stuff. I couldn't pick it up. <laughs> what a cracker! Hey, well, there you go. I couldn't pick it up with a scoop, and yet I could still, I saw it sitting there on the ground. That is a cracker. Wasn't expecting that. Look, first target. How cool is that? Bit of gold straight away. Always got to hope you don't peak too early. Anyway, I'll give you a look at it. Well, there it is, guys, straight out of the ground. So, yeah, she's pretty shiny already. Not too bad. Look, it's going to go a bit over 0.1 for sure, that little guy. But what a cracking start. Well, that's the hole that came out. So, yeah, look, we're probably down about three or four inches for that one. But, yeah, she's pretty solid signal. It's in great looking material. And I'll tell you what, I've taken about two steps straight onto it. So, pretty happy about that. Hopefully, it's going to be more like that. Alrighty guys, well I've got my second target, so right on the side where the pick is jabbed into the bank is sort of, that's where it is, so it's sort of, yeah, a little bit on the inside edge of the old timers digging, but hopefully I don't let it roll down into all the uh, leaf litter below and lose it, but anyway, we'll uh, I'll scratch a little bit of a shelf out so if it does roll it can fall into that, but anyway, let's see if we can go two for two. Pretty solid signal, but try not lose it. Yeah, sometimes these noises can be wire. Uh, 
Nah. First old mate, little fella, little Eddie, stuck up on the side. Bugger. Anyway, one apiece. Well, we're on to our third target. So we've basically just come around this heap, round to here. Now this one sounds pretty good. I've gone down a couple of scrapes as you can see and I'm onto the nice hard clay. So hopefully it stays in it or goes down another inch or two and we'll be on with another show. But anyway guys, there's only one way to find out. So let's get this dug and hopefully we've got our second piece. I think we're pretty much right on top of it, but this hard. It was in a bit of clay just like that. It was awesome. Breaking it open. But through me not pressing the go button on the camera, no reveal coming out of clay. But anyway, it's just a big old lead shot. So, what a bugger. I don't know how lead shot gets into such nice clay, but I guess because it's a big one, it's made its way down. But anyway, no joy. I thought we were on. I was fully expecting to see gold come out of that one. Oh well. Well, it's been a while. Um, I've been swinging for a bit over an hour. No more gold except that first one. Yeah, another half dozen lead shots. Not a lot of lead shots, so it's probably a good thing. But this is in some beautiful gravels, really nice clay. Look, I'd be pretty surprised for a lead shot to get down into it, really. Um, very, very gravelly and very, very clayish. So, perfect ground for gold. But anyway, we know what old mate lead shot can do sneaks its way in there anyway guys i keep scratching away and hopefully we can turn up another bit of gold because it's been too long well, sounds pretty good guys um i don't think it's too far away but yeah the, it's a really good gravel you wait to hear the crunch very crunchy See what we got. Ah, oh, you've got to be joking. Ah, oh. that's a shot again. My God, how this stuff penetrates into some of this ground's got me buggered. But that's just beautiful gravels, and it's down there. So who knows? <laughs> just gotta keep on hunting. Well guys, after many, 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 many lead shots, uh, I basically had enough of that spot. I needed a break. I really was starting to not enjoy what I was doing. I was so sick to death of digging up lead shot after lead shot after lead shot. So, I've returned back to one of my little patches from a couple of months ago. Now here, I think I've got about 26, 27 little bits of gold, so for a few grams. Look, I know I haven't done the whole area, so I'm going to broaden my horizons here a fraction and see what I can turn up because uh, that other spot just wasn't doing it for me. So when it's not fun, no point being out here. Anyway, guys, let me give this little area a hit up and see if we can get some gold instead of that lead shot. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, well, got our first target here. So hopefully at the front of the coil there. <laughs> At the front of the coil, hopefully it's gold, because if it's a lead shot, it's not going to be a great start. I'm going to be a bit sort of not happy about it. But anyway, it sounds great. I've got gold here before, so there's every chance that that will be the right colour. So, fingers crossed. Let's dig it up, and hopefully it's gold. So we kicked it right out the back here. There you go, so popped out the back there. Oh, wasn't very deep though, so always like things to be deeper. Turned out to be a good thing. <laughs> Alright, it's in this little bit of red clay. A little, 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 little tiny round bit of gold. 
Okay, there it is. It is super tiny, but I'll tell you what, it's not lead shot, so I am very, very, very happy about that. It's going to be a 0.06 at best, but I'll tell you what, I'll take that over lead shot any day. It might be tiny, but it's gold. Well, first target is the charm. Like, I probably dug for two hours. Lead shot after lead shot after lead shot after getting that first bit within a first meter of walking. It really wears on you. So I was sick to death of it. So I had to change. I've come to an old faithful location and bang, straight onto it. So pretty happy about that, I tell you. But anyway, I'd like to find another one or two before the day is done. So I won't do that gas bagging on here. So I best get stuck into it and see what we can come up with for the next dig. Righto, I've walked about three metres. Um, one bit thought I had sound, but nah, I think it was just a little bit of ground noise. But this is a solid signal. It's very soft. Could it be another little bit of gold? Who knows? Only one way to find out is dig it up. And hopefully, second dig's a charm as well. Because, uh, I don't know, it's just to show. You shouldn't leave gold to find gold. But hey, look, it's always good to go look somewhere else. But always great to drop back in on an old area. Just... Just snag a bit of gold to sort of finish off the day. Oh, that scoop. A bit of clay. Oh no. Ah, a little bit of wire, a little bit. Is that, I don't know, weird threaded stuff. Know what they are, they're just like. Whether little nails or what, I don't know, but yeah. Well, there's like little bronze threaded thingies. They're all through the gold fields. Not sure what they are. Someone might be able to tell me. I have no idea. I think I could say it wasn't lead shot, so somewhat that makes me happier. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Well, I've got a bit of an interesting one. I've actually been over this ground. I've found gold right at it. And yes, I've got a signal and it's gone down a few inches. It's popped out. So, did I leave myself a little bit of gold to find it at a different time? Look, I do believe on the the angle you approach things can make a difference. The time of day can make a difference. Like, it's a beautiful night. The machine's running really quiet. So who knows? But I missed it. It's still there. So hopefully, this time I've got it and it's a bit of gold. Alrighty, so nice looking ground. It's popped out of there. over the back here so sounds good let's see if it's the right color i'm hoping ah, get done bro open another one up nice looking gravels all through it Don't be lead shot. Ah, it's not, I can see it. Right there. Beauty, it's not lead shot. Well, there it is, guys, right there. It's tip of me thumb. Just break it out, I don't think it's overly big. There he is. <laughs> it's pretty small. i tell you what, the L6000's got this one. There we have it. Beautiful, I like it. That's three. Maybe I should have changed locations ages ago. Now I'm gonna run out of daylight looking for more. Anyway, now you're just talking about it and we'll get stuck into it and hopefully you can sneak another one out before the end of the day. Well guys, it would appear I'm on a bit of a roll. I've moved about a meter. I've got the slightest sound. It was very, very, very quiet. It might, it might be the quietness of the evening and this booming speaker in me uh, left ear, but this little guy is quite thin and long, but um, yeah, it was pretty much on top of the ground and it's really, really hard <laughs> material. But anyway, I'll give you a bit of a look. Alrighty guys, so that's the material it came out of. As you can see, it's very, very hard looking. But yeah, this little, little thin one. Wasn't the loudest signal on the planet, but yeah, it's a right color. <laughs> oh, roll, should have came here hours ago. Another nice little bit of gold there. All right, let's see if we can sneak another one in before the end of the day. 
Well, light is fading and so is battery power. And uh, yeah, I'm getting thirsty because it is actually Sunday evening. And I feel like going home for a beverage. So let's get this way up done and see how we went. Well guys, there's our four little bits of gold we got this evening or this afternoon and this evening. Look, we only out for about three and a half hours in the end. Two were digging up lead and about one and a half digging up gold. Anyway guys, let's get them on the scales and see how we went. 0 0.15, 0 0.25, 0 0.29. Let's see what this little guy weighs. I'm thinking not much. 0.37. That's not too bad for a quick afternoon session. Well, there we go, guys. 0.37. Not bad for our little afternoon evening session. Look, I'm a lot happier now than I was about an hour and a half ago when I was just digging up a tunnel lead shot. I rock up here and ping up, like pick up three relatively quickly in an hour, well, less than a half. It's been awesome, so I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.